everybody, it's Jamie. And today's video is another favorites video. It is my February favorites. Uh, before we get started, I want to say I'm sorry that I did not have a video last week. It's just midterms and projects and everything. It's just like all at once. So last week was like, I need to buckle down and get this done. And then this week is kind of pretty much the same, except I have actually, last week I got a lot of head starts on a lot of things. So this week I have videos for you guys. I have this one and I will also have a vlog that I will link down below if you haven't seen it. But let's get started. So the first thing is I have rediscovered my love for kiwis. Walmart had a giant two pound tub of kiwis and I just cut them up. I think it was yesterday and oh, they're so good. Next food favorite is Talente Sorbet. This one is the Alfonso Mango and then I've also tried the Raspberry and the Blood Orange and oh my gosh, it literally tastes like ground up fruit that you throw in a blender with some ice except the flavor stays and it stays soft. But yeah, these are really good. There's four ingredients. No, there's six ingredients. This one is the mango flavor and it has mangoes, water, sugar, dextrose, lemons, and carb, carob gum, and that's it. I think the mango and the orange ones are my favorite. Mango literally tastes like smashed up mango, and then the orange one tastes like sherbet, but less like artificial sugary tasting kind of thing. It's delicious. Some beauty favorites that I have. The first one I think was either in last month's or the month before, and it is the Essie Nail Polish in the color Allure. Uh, I, if you guys don't know, recently did my first round of RE interviews, and I wanted something that kind of looked like a French manicure without actually having to go through the pain of doing a French manicure. And so I just put on about three coats of this, and it gave me the kind of well, these ones aren't too bad, but <laughs> most of them are chipped and gross because I've been doing dishes. But it just gives like a nice, like, even tone, but you can still tell that my nails are not super short. That second beauty favorite I actually mentioned in my vlog, and it is the Ulta Super Shiny Lip Butter in the color London. Take that out for you guys so you can see it. And I've actually had this lip butter for quite some time. I just never really used it because I didn't think there would be much color payoff in it but it gives a really nice tint and it's really similar to my natural lip color like if my lip was one solid pink it'd probably be this color so I feel it's not that I'm wearing like a bright pink lip gloss or lip butter or lipstick it's just really nice natural lip tone for me and it keeps my super chapped lips nice and moist Next beauty favorite is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil. Um, it's basically, I use it as a lip liner. It is indeed a wooden pencil one, which I wasn't too thrilled about, but luckily I already had a sharpener for my makeup stuff. And what color is this? Let's see. This is in 021 Red Dynamite, and this was literally the only, it was six bucks, and it was the only close enough true red color that I could find for under seven bucks. Everything else was really expensive, and I, I mean, I wear lipstick, but I pretty much wear red only. This one is a little bit orangey for my taste, but it really helps to have this on because then I don't get like clown or joker mouth going on. It keeps my lipstick in place. Doesn't necessarily make it last longer, but it keeps it in place, which is like the big thing. And it also helps like if you eat with your lipstick on, it helps keep it there. So I really liked it. Next one is my latest perfume and I've decided that it will probably be my signature perfume once I get through all of my other ones, and it is the One one Moment by One Direction Perfume. This one is the Rollerball version. Uh, for Christmas, I got both 
the rollerball and the actual spray bottle perfume and it just smells really good. I like it because a lot of celebrity perfumes tend to be really florally or really sweet or really really musky and I don't like any of those things. This one is there's some musk in it but it's also just the tiniest bit sweet so it's not super overpowering like Jesus I smell like candy but it's also not like I smell like a guy kind of thing it's just a really nice light but stays all day scent and the fact that it's in a roller ball makes it so much better because then I can put it behind my ears on my wrist all that jazz and take it on the go without having to drag the whole beautiful perfume bottle with me I've had um, I've bought in the past a Bath and Body Wallflower and the Wallflower Scents. Mine had the Anchor, but my mom found one with a pineapple on it and it is indeed a night light too. The only thing I don't like is that the night light stays on all day and all night. It's not like comes on when there's no light or anything, so that's a pain. And the scent I have in it right now is Tiki Beach and it is amazing. It literally smells it kind of reminds me of my, one of my parents' friends' houses. Like, her house always smells so good. Um, but yeah, it's like a coconutty... It's, it's kind of like coconutty suntan lotion. Like, it almost smells like suntan oil, kind of. Like, I don't know. It just it smells really good. Another air freshener-related thing that I got is the Airwick Sparkling Citrus fragrant stick thing. I got these, I bought two of them, and I put them in our bathroom here at the dorm, and I got these at the 99 cent store, and they're by Airwick, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. It definitely, it's not super, it kind of smells like orange, oranges and pineapple together, because it's not super um, citrusy as oranges, it kind of has a little bit of sweet, so is this clear umbrella. The whole thing is clear and it's just a big bubble umbrella. Um, it's the full length. It doesn't collapse or anything. But I love it and I'm really glad I bought it from home because it poured here. Uh, next monthly favorite is I have rediscovered my Nook book e-reader thingy. I have just the basic of the basic simple touch. Um, that is in all black and white, does not go on the internet, and uh, yeah, and the one thing I do like about it is because it looks like an actual book except it's an electronic version, and I think I have about 20 books in here including a textbook. So instead of dragging like a physical textbook back and forth to class, I just drag this, which is great. Um, and yeah, it's just really really convenient. I love it. I love that it's small. I was looking at it getting like one of the Nook Color HDs because it, it would do more for me, but I honestly love my Nook. It doesn't hurt my eyes to stare at this. It's just like reading a normal book off paper versus reading off of an iPad, which I don't know about you guys, but like there's never the right brightness to make it look like a book. That's why Nook is freaking amazing um, and I've had it for, oh, I don't know how many years. The only thing is, is my band thing is stretching out, which is kind of sad. So, on to things that are new in my monthly favorites. My YT homie, Just Z, introduced me to a new app, and I am obsessed. As long as, as long, as well as all my other friends. We're completely obsessed, and it's called Trivia Crack. And it's basically a game, like, here's the setup, and you basically just play people. Like it has a spinner and you spin it and you, you get a uh, random question from each category and you can submit questions and it'll do anything from what state is the Grand Canyon in to what is Michelangelo famous for to who is Jenny Weasley's husband. It'll give you pretty much anything things you don't know, things you do know, and it's so much fun and you get to compete. Either you compete, compete against your friends 
or against perfect strangers and you can do the regular game which is you have to get all five of their cute little characters or you can challenge which whoever gets the highest score wins. Um, I also have two people favorites <laughs> this week or this week this month and I have recently just seen the movie Dracula Untold starring Luke Evans and if you don't know who Luke Evans is, he's also Bart the Bowman in The Hobbit, Aramis in Three Musketeers, and he's in a few other things that probably I think someone would have seen. But anyways, he is definitely one of my favorite actors of the moment. He was so good in this, I'm really glad that the other guy they were thinking about casting fell through because Luke Evans did a spectacular job. I love the story, I loved all the visual effects. They did some really cool cinematic shots that I thought were, you know, really neat. Like one point, there's like you follow the sword into like when Dracula's attacking people, you follow the sword he puts in someone, and like you see that in the reflection of the sword, like Dracula, like still like fighting and stuff. It's really, really cool. I really like it. If you guys are into Dracula or love the movie Van Helsing, I Frankenstein. Um, even if you love The Hobbit, definitely check out this movie. It is amazing. Luke Evans did an amazing job. I loved all the behind the scenes stuff. They also gave on the DVD as well. They did like a day in the life, which is really relevant to YouTube because it was kind of like a vlog and it was really interesting. And then also I have another actor photographer favorite and his name is Dino Gorman. He is also in The Hobbit. He plays Feely. I kind of knew he was a photographer and I had skimmed through his work at some point but I really, because I have a midterm presentation to do on photographers, so I was like, I'll do it on him because not only is he branching out as an actor but he just showed his work for the first time, I think either last year or maybe the year before. And it's amazing. He does portraiture and he also did uh, vulnerability of men during like World War II. I think it was, and they're just stunning, stunning images. I loved all of his work. All of his work is amazing, and it just surprises me that he never really showed like publicly his work, and that this is kind of the first as it is, and they're just beautiful, and I really advise you to go and give his website a look. I will link it down below. I don't think he's on any social media. But if he is, I will find out for you guys and also link all that below. But that is it for February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know, do you guys have any February favorites that I should be aware? And maybe it will be next month or the month after favorites? Like, let me know. And also, if you're on Trivia Crack, let me know that too. Could always use more friends. Mine is at Jamie Throws Confetti. No surprise there. Um, but uh, yeah, so please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I noticed a lot of you guys liked my last monthly favorites because it got like 67 views and I was just like, what? So if you do like these, please give them a thumbs up. Also leave comments down below if you like them or if you would like me to include more art stuff, more technology, more beauty, more random things like umbrellas and ice cream or sorbet I guess it would be. <laughs> um, also don't forget to follow me on social media. You guys can not only find me on YouTube, which you can click there, but you guys can also follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and Instagram. Yeah, so I hope you guys had a good February. I had a pretty good one and I will see you guys sooner rather than later. So goodbye.